apart and Sai can show you, okay? And we're gonna begin with putting our thumb into the back of the collar. Now, like I said, we're gonna talk about being kind of stealthy with your grips. One of the problems that people have early on is that they sell and move too early, right? They give it away. So like, if I'm back here, I wanna, I'm gonna set something up with this collar in a minute, but I don't wanna start grabbing and tugging on it, right? Because if I do that, that makes him really like mindful of that. Whereas if I come back here and I put my thumb in and I just very, I'm still keeping good, good weight on them. I'm not, you know, giving anything up, but my thumb's just kind of hanging out right now. I'm not like grabbing it with a death grip. Just, it's just there, okay? That's good. Now, on this other side, the grips are eventually gonna be this, okay? Palm in, uh, four fingers into the grip here, and we're gonna run to the side. But again, if I raise up to like, like fishing to that collar, again, he's gonna defend it. So what we're gonna do instead is I'm down, keeping my weight low, I'm gonna take my palm, and I'm gonna like put it up here on his chest, right? A lot of times you can be here, and this doesn't really give away the collar too much, right? He's like, well, his hands on my chest. I don't know what he's doing with it, but it, you know, we're, we're having a moment maybe, right? Mm -hmm. Are we having a moment? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're having a moment, right? So he's not worried about the choke though, okay? So what we can do is we can slide this up, and then at the very end we turn, okay? And this helps me out because a lot of times, even like in mount, right? If I'm trying to set this clock choke up and run off, if I'm here, I'm okay, but the minute I start trying to fish, his hands immediately go from escaping to like defend. But if I'm just here pushing on his chest, and then we turn it up at the very end, and then we run. Boom. That's it. So, thumb in, we're staying low, okay? You can just put your hand here again. You're keeping weight down. I've got good shoulder pressure and side control, right? My hand is just here on his chest. And all I'm gonna do is turn my palm up, boom. And I've got the grip that I need, right there. From here, we're gonna run. Now, two things are gonna, We'll look at two different options. First one, if you've never done this, this is what you're gonna do. As you come up, we pull our grips in tight, we run to the side, we place our head on the opposite side of the body, toes are up, you flex in keeping your elbows in tight. Now more than likely, my advanced guys, you guys have done this stuff before. When you guys finish, here's what you're gonna do. Almost the same thing, you can palm up, Stealthy, with not giving anything away. We turn it up at the very end to get our, our get our second grip. When we go up, more than likely, this guy's going to defend with his hands. Well, especially this hand, it'll come up right here. So we're going to bring this knee up, slide it down. Okay. So again, you're going to go up into the chest here, slide it down, almost like like a baseball slide, and then we run to the side. So it's almost the same thing. We're just a little tweak. Okay. And again, the reason I don't want you guys to worry about that is I just want you to feel the choke first before we start adding in little, little bits there. So again, staying down low, thumb is in, staying tight. The whole time we're doing all this stuff with our, our hand, my pressure on this person is there. My toes are active, shoulder pressure's in, we're good to go. Again, palm, just we can slide it here on the chest. It doesn't give anything away. And then once it's right here, right at the collarbone, boom, let's turn it up. At this point, we come up. Again, new guys or guys that have not done this before, cut the elbow in, walk to the side, head goes down, butt up, boom, finish. Advanced guys, you guys done this before. Bottom person, grab the wrist here on, the, on that choking arms or that uh, palm up side. Come up to the knee or knee up to, on the belly here, slide it up the chest, shoulder, slide it down, <laughs> elbows in. <laughs> Okay, and we'll do this about three and three guys give you a little bit of a break in between choking each other. Questions? Okay, ready? One, two, three, get up here, and then I'll start to doing this fish and stuff in the hands come up, right? But if I'm, hanging, I'm down here, just kind of hang on like, all right, we're just kind of keeping some pressure here, maybe I'm trying to attack the arm, whatever. And again, if I start doing this, it really doesn't feel like a collar choke right now. It just feels like I'm just like touching his chest or something, maybe do, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm not doing that. And then right here, all we do is, boom, cut it up. And then now we go, and we've got the death grip. We're ready to finish. If that grip's here, right? You can go even a little bit looser on this one and you can still make it work. Oh, so yeah. I don't need to be like... Yeah, it doesn't have to be connected. You have a little bit of space okay. here. So go ahead and just try it out and see how it feels. So I'm going to lock. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, you still have it. Then you just bring the knee up, slide it down, boom. Oh, shit. So, yeah, so like... on my foot. So like, if I'm here, right? Like, if I'm back here, then this grip has to be all the way up here. Okay, right? Yeah. But if this is already here, I'm, this helps me keep a little bit more pressure on it. Right. Like I have trouble finishing it if I, it's too tight. If I have a little slack in there, I can like cut it in here. Awesome.